Hey-o. Good friend Ricky the Eagle Toboggan Bugenhagen saying Guten Toggin with more knowledge to fill your noggin. So guys, I've had a lot of you asking me. I want shoulder mobility. You got the hip mobility, got the lower body mobility. Where's the shoulders? So mad muscle scientist Ricky here, looking professional as always in my laboratory with my 1997 Megadeth ripped up tour shirt that I just refused to throw away. With that mustache going strong, got my baseball cap. And I'm going to throw some knowledge at you guys because here's the deal. There's a lot of bad knowledge on, on, online. There's a lot of great knowledge as well. But a lot of the, the great knowledge gets drowned up from a lot of the, the bad knowledge. And I think the bad knowledge is coming from gigantic channels that are just trying to come up with content to fill their channel and to keep throwing stuff at you every single day. But it's all made up. And a lot of these big channels have zero credentials as well. Like I believe that if you're going to have a larger channel, not that you need to have credentials to have a large channel, but if you're going to come across as an authority, you have to have some degree of, uh, <laughs> wow, look at how smart I am. I can't even think of words. Words are hard, guys. You got to have some validation. You got to have some credit to you. So how about this? Everyone that has a large channel and is coming across as a guru, why not just get your CSCS, right? Your Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist because you don't even need to have an exercise science or kinesiology degree to do it. You used to back in the day, but now you could have a political science degree and you could still get it. So it's the most, uh, it's the strongest, uh, words are hard. I need more caffeine clearly. It's the best certification that you can get that shows that you know how to apply exercise science in training and that you know the exercise science itself. And I get that it costs money, but if you're a guru on YouTube, then you're clearly making money. So what, you, you, can, you can take it, but you can't spend a little to make yourself uh, uh, more professional, right? To give yourself more credit? I think that's the problem with YouTube fitness at the moment. But anyways, I have a lot of education, guys. I was a Division I coach as well as strength and conditioning coach. Um, <clears throat> I've worked with high school athletes. I've worked with college athletes. I've worked with some professional athletes. And now myself, I'm considered, quote, unquote, a professional athlete. And I'm working on a daily basis with a former uh, Big Ten as well as NFL strength and conditioning coach. So I have a lot of knowledge that I haven't been throwing at you guys. A lot. There's a lot of stuff that I do that I don't show on my channel. And because people keep asking for it, I'll start throwing little tidbits in here and there to help you guys out. <clears throat> As opposed to just being max intensity and telling you that it's a mindset every single day. So you guys have requested it for probably years now. So I'm going to start doing it because there's so much of it. I'm just going to give you one to two little tidbits for improving shoulder health, shoulder mobility. Uh, because bench press is snapping everyone up and... If you can take care of that and you can bench more, you can bench more frequently, it means you can probably bench more in the long run. So I'm in my mad muscle scientist laboratory and I'm gonna show you guys just a, a quick superset that'll take no more than, let me do the math here, five minutes. You bang this out, it's gonna improve shoulder stability by strengthening your rotator cuff as well as the thoracic and scapular muscles. Here's another golden tidbit as well. A lot of you guys that have been commenting to me, not a lot, but a few of you guys have been commenting to me that the fat grips is all a fad and um, just a shill product. Well, you can believe that, but if you actually decide to not just make up theories with no credit, no education on your part, then you're missing out because if I can increase grip strength, that alone is going to increase shoulder stability. So myself, as well as other people that have commented on my channel, have noticed that using the fat grips for presses feels substantially better on the elbows and on the shoulders because obviously you're forced to grip harder. You're not just holding the bar. You actually have to grip it, thus increasing shoulder stability. <clears throat> but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is I'm going to set this up right here. It should give you guys just a quick, a quick, quick tip and a quick tidbit minute. So, I have 
I just have these grips because these weigh one pound. And then, hey, when you do this, you actually get to finally use the cute little pink dumbbells. Because again, this is just to strengthen your rotator cuff. So, this is a super set, like I'm saying. Just do three sets of this total, and when you go into your benching or whatever your shoulder movements you're doing, you're gonna feel substantially better. Guarantee it. Start off, just lay on the floor. Or you can lay on a bench. You don't have to lay on the floor and get all dirty. First is just Y handcuffs. Okay? And look at this as basically like dynamic stretching. Because you're stretching and you're activating the muscles uh, in, <clears throat> in your shoulder girdle, right? Your, your rotator cuff, your scapular and thoracic little muscles. Hold the Y. Okay? Just handcuff behind your head. Slow and controlled. My palms are down all the way until I get behind. And cross. It's like I'm being handcuffed. Do this, doesn't matter. 10 to 15 reps or so. Slow and controlled. After you just do that alone, you're already gonna feel, I know in my experience, I feel a pump in my shoulders. Isn't that insane? Okay, so now these muscles are warmed up, they're activated, now you can use something like two little pink dumbbells. And now you're not going to be doing the wide handcuffs with the weight. Instead, you're going to do something that's almost the exact same thing, but it's like a static contraction for each position for your rotator cuff. I have these fat grips. They weigh a pound each. So I'm just going to hold Y for about 20 seconds. Then I'm going to hold W for 20 seconds. I'm going to hold T for 20 seconds. And then whatever you want to call it, whether it's M or A, hold that for 20 seconds. Then afterwards, you can put your weights down and then you can do the same thing, right? Right back into your Y handcuffs. Do that 10 to 15 reps, go right back to your Ys, Ws, Ts, As or Ms, whatever you call them. If you don't have a bench or if you don't want to lay on the floor, you can also do the same thing with a stability ball. Okay, just laying on it. Hold, here, hold, here, hold, here, hold, here. You can do the same thing with the handcuffs as well. Boom. So it's whatever's gonna be most comfortable for you that is actually gonna make you wanna do this on a daily basis. Uh, especially if you're in like a throwing sport like baseball for instance, couldn't be a more valuable warm up for your workouts. Like I said guys, quick tidbits to help you out from Ricky the Eagle to Bogan Bogan Hagen saying Guten Tagen. Hope I gave you some knowledge for your noggin. Ah!